Today we're going to walk through a preview of the Nixenta Edge 2.0 GUI. Really the goal here is to simplify the way you're able to deploy a scale out block and object storage solution with the performance to be able to have anything you want on the back end. In this example we've got a couple of nodes here as the demo. This is the physical component of it. It really gives you a dashboard of what you're looking at for the entire Edge cluster. If you look at each node right here we've got NE190. We can look at what's going on with it, the utilization, the capacity, CPU memory of it. You may have tens, hundreds of nodes here. You can go into details and actually see the individual devices to see what kind of capacity we've got for the drives and the devices on each one of the nodes. Also up top, you've got an overall dashboard, looking at things like how many S3 services or iSCSI services you've got created, all the way down to some of the reduction ratio and some of the utilization as well as the number of objects. That includes the LUNs and the nodes in there, as well as all the objects you've put into the object store. Regardless of whether you're presenting as iSCSI, Swift, or S3, you see all the objects there. And then, of course, capacity utilization. From there, we can jump over to a logical view of the system. Here you notice we've got three services and a few clusters. This is a logical separation to connect in when we want to have a different service provided. If I look at the S3 service, for example, the first thing you'll notice is I've got all four nodes presenting because they can all present out the S3 protocol to it. And then we present that out to some tenants. The tenants we created in the previous screen. You'll notice it's just a VMworld and S3 gives us a notice of what those tenants are. If you want to do it for iSCSI, you can do the same. Simply add a service. We'll call this iSCSI demo. Great iSCSI. And we add it. Once you've added, you'll notice it's already red because we've got to do a little bit of configuration. There's no gateway nodes yet, so we'll pick a gateway node, add that in. There's our first one. And then we actually have to have a LUN created. In this situation, we don't have any there yet, but we can go ahead and enable the service if we wanted to from this screen as well. Down onto the cluster screen, like I said, this is a logical separation. So in VMworld, you notice I've got my three tenants. This is to separate out for the services. So each one of those three services we created, we also have tied to a tenant. Going into the S3 one or into the iSCSI one, you can see a little more detail on each one. I can also delete it or change users. These gives us our buckets of what we're looking at within the object store. So really, overall, this is just designed to make it as simple as possible to see it. That iSCSI, we had already created some LUNs. Notice there's a few LUNs here with a single node as presented as the gateway. We'll create that one more LUN. We can create whatever bucket we want. In this case, we want to make sure we keep it on the iSCSI because that's the one we're using. We call this one demo iSCSI. Create whatever size I want. Say we'll do 64 gig at either a 4K or 512 block size chunk or stripe and then on what our chunk size needs to be. One number and VIP are all optional if we want to add them in. But there you go, it's already created and accessible out via the iSCSI interface. So that's really what the Nexenta Edge environment looks like for the Edge 2.0 GUI.